Excuse me, sir. Lieutenant, if that police career of yours ever fizzles out, you could always make it as a cat burglar. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know what happened? I saw this note that I made here that I meant to ask you about. Ask away, little buddy. You know, the, the reason I think I forgot it was because it was filed under pilot. You know, for pilot error. Mm-hmm. What about it? Um, did you call in for the weather before you made that flight? I sure did. Every pilot does. Well, according to the Bakersfield Weather Bureau, they anticipated a low ceiling in Los Angeles. If you'd left an hour earlier, you would have missed it. Well, you see, I left later because of the audiences at Bakersfield, see? They just wouldn't let me off stage. They love that music in Bakersfield. Oh, they sure do. I know that for a fact. But, you know, your brother-in-law, he told me that you took a nap. Yeah, I always take a nap before a flight late at night, especially after a performance. I was wiped out. Lieutenant, I know those desk jockeys downtown are about to drive you crazy, giving you a bad time. And I know how bad you hate to keep asking all those stupid questions that they send you out here to ask. But I want you to tell them one thing for me. That all those loose ends that they think they're tying up are gonna go nowhere, you see? Because Tommy Brown was on that plane himself when it crashed. And if I'd have been up to no good, I wouldn't have risked my own neck in the process. I'm gonna make that point very clear to them, sir. <clears throat> Hey, Colombo, I want you to tell those people down at your office one thing for me, that I got nothing to hide. And I guess you overheard me on the phone. Overheard you on the phone? Oh, no, sir, no. But I knew you were stopping the project. I spoke to the architects this morning. However, it's very helpful to know your reasoning. Thank you. One of ours, sir. Colonel. Oh, sorry. 747. I'd like to land one of these babies. <laughs> this must be quite a letdown for you. What is? ROTC. There's a job to be done, Lieutenant, and I'm the man to do it. Brown. 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 Thomas. Oh, sure. Never forget the lads who served under me. If not by name, by face. He's out of Vietnam, but I remember the face. He served in your outfit in Korea. Oh. Well, what's happened to him? He's Tommy Brown now. Tommy Brown. He's a big star. Really? Made it in the movies, huh? No, sir. Country and Western music. Entertainment. He's very big. Oh. Not that, uh, twist stuff, that degenerate... No, sir. Folk music. Tommy Brown. He's a singer. Good. Just so long as he isn't a pilot. <laughs> Washed out as a cadet, as I recall. Transferred to my outfit. Did you read about that private plane crash the other night? Oh, yeah. He was the pilot. The guy that got thrown clear? Yes, sir. Never made the connection. What are you doing in your office, sir? Parachute rigging. You mean he ran a machine which rigged a parachute? Not on your life, Lieutenant. It was done by hand. A man falls his own. Yes. Some things in life don't change, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. May I use your telephone? Keep it short, will you? Never know when there might be an alert. Absolutely. I want the medical examiner's office. Lieutenant Colombo. Colombo. I'll wait. It's really for official business. They still make them out of silk? You're speaking to me? Hit the silk. Is that just... Just an expression. The old barnstorming days. Nylon, 60 square yards of it, and a parachute personnel standard M4. How fast does that bring a man down? 20 feet per second average. Isn't that pretty fast? 
There's a proper way to land, Lieutenant. Hello. The medical examiner. Lieutenant Colombo. How big is this flag? It's not a flag, Lieutenant. It's a banner. Eagle and stars wrap it on a field of blue. The official emblem of the United States Air Force. How big is it? 27 square feet. Why? How much is that in square yards? Well, you ought to know that, Lieutenant. Three square yards. Parachute is 60 square yards? Right. 20 times bigger than this? Well, that's elementary, Lieutenant. Hello. Yes, I am. Hello. Doctor. Yes. This is Lieutenant Colombo. I want to order an autopsy. On two deceased, already interred. Mrs. Edna Brown and Miss Mary Ann Cobb. Just like a blind man, I wandered astray. Straight is the gate and narrow the way. Then like a blind man that got back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Hey, Colombo! Come on in, join the session. I didn't ruin anything or wreck it or anything. There was no light on, so I just came in. Playback. It's a concert we did last night. How you like it? Oh, good. They were there. At the concert? My wife and I? We were there. Clouds covered me. I had no idea where the way Come on, Lieutenant. Then came the sunrise and roll back the night. Praise the Lord. Hey, bring it down a couple of points there, will you, Bill? What's the matter? You owe me a concert with that song. Yeah, I closed my show with that song, too. Number one on the charts. Hey, there you go, Lieutenant. You don't like it? No. Oh, it's very good. No, it's very popular. You know, I hear it coming out of cars, out of storefronts. One kid had it coming out of his pocket, right here. But, uh, sounds different here. And I noticed last night at the concert... Yeah, live audience. That's one of the different sound. It's recorded live, see? The one you've been hearing around town is a studio recording that we did quite a while back. Oh. Oh, that explains it. Oh. You know, little buddy, there's a question I'd like to ask you. You ordered my wife's body dug up, right? That's correct, sir, both bodies. And autopsies performed? Yes, sir. Expecting to find what? Mr. Brown, I don't think that this is the... That's quite all right, Lieutenant, if you don't mind answer that question. Just what were you expecting to find? I don't know. It's not an unusual police procedure. After an air crash? Well, very often to find out if the, if the pilot had a heart attack or to find out if there was any evidence of drugs. Lieutenant. I was the pilot, and I'm very much alive. Yes, sir. And that air safety guy, what's his name? Mr. Pangborn. Ordered all kinds of blood tests run. Yes, sir, and they were all negative. And the EKG, your heart, that was normal, which, of course, should make you feel very good. And the autopsy showed nothing unusual? No, sir, nothing unusual. I think I could have told you that, Lieutenant. Of course, when I say nothing unusual, what I mean is that um, under, you know, normal circumstances, there would be nothing unusual. Just what are you trying to say, Lieutenant? Barbiturates, sir. We found evidence of barbiturates in both women. And um, according to their religious beliefs, they were prohibited from taking any drugs or stimulants. That's true. But they used to get air sick, so they took an air sickness pill. Yes, sir, but these barbiturates were sleeping pills. Sleeping pills work just like air sickness pills sometimes, Lieutenant. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that must explain that. Oh. Tommy, Thank gotta feed you the eight track now. Just hey, Bill, kill it. Mind, man, I... Anything else, Lieutenant? No, sir. Oh. Um. Could I have a tape of that concert? Be in the stores, a couple of months. No, what I meant was, could I have an advanced copy? Why not? Thank you very much. Just one more thing.